Welcome to Heart of London, where the history was made during the darkest days of World War II. Today we are stepping back in time to explore the Churchill's War Rooms, the secret underground headquarters where the Winston Churchill and his inner circle directed Britain's war effort. Hidden beneath the bustling streets of Westminster, this underground complex served as a nerve center for British military operations. It was here, in these very rooms, that decisions were made that would shape the course of history. Here is a map of the complex. You can pause the video and then take a closer look. Sorry about the dim video, it's a pretty dark museum. We are moving to Churchill's principal private secretary cabinet. Secretary was responsible for managing Churchill's schedule, correspondence and communications. And this is the Prime Minister's office. Winston Churchill did not live full time in the war rooms during World War II but he did spend a significant amount of time there, especially during critical moments of the war. Churchill did have a small bedroom in the war rooms, which also doubled as a private office. He used this room for rest and to work during long hours spent underground. The war rooms provide him a secure and central location to operate from during the air raids and the other emergencies ensuring that he was always close to the heart of the British military operations. Within the Churchill War Rooms, there is also the Churchill Museum. This museum is dedicated to the life and the legacy of Winston Churchill. It offers a detailed and interactive exploration of his life, from his early years through his leadership during World War II and beyond. This salute is a constant reminder of Winston Churchill. This is the original door from 10 Downing Street that was the home and office of Prime Minister. The original head of Winston Churchill is one of the many personal artifacts displayed in the Churchill Museum. Winston Churchill was famously known for his love to Havana cigars, which became one of his trademarks alongside his head.
This is a German Enigma machine. We are going out of the museum and going back to war rooms. Many of the war room staff live under constant pressure, often working long hours in the confident, windowless environment of the underground complex. Mr. Brandon Brecken's room, a closest seat of Winston Churchill. Major Martin's room, he served as the head of Industrial Intelligence Center. Commander Charles Thompson was the Winston Churchill's personal bodyguard during World War II. This is his room. The Prime Minister's Dining Room This is Mrs. Churchill's room This room was where the top military leaders of the British Armed Forces, known collectively as the Chief of Staff, would meet to discuss strategy, review intelligence and plan military operations during World War II. Underground Kitchen You can take a break and eat in the war rooms, where the food is served in the old-fashioned style, just like during the war. It's even served on newspaper, adding to the authentic experience, and take a look at this metal mug, it's a real throwback to the era. This is a working space for the personnel.
map room was the most crucial spaces in the church or war rooms. It served as a center hub for the tracking of the progress of the World War II. The walls were covered with maps detailed troop movements, battlefronts, and strategic locations. The staff worked around the clock in the room updating the maps and ensuring that Churchill and his commanders had the most accurate and up-to-date information at all times. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more historical explorations. Thanks for watching.